Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your um, next 48, January 12 and 13, okay? I already have cards on the table because the video cut off. So I'm gonna start here because these messages are significant, okay? So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, January 12th and 13th of 2022, all right? So Taurus, I got the Nine of Cups out first. So like I said, this could be overindulgence, drinking a lot. Somebody here drinks very heavy. They're always partying or drinking or doing something here. This could be, a, um, this could be wine. This could be any kind of liquor. It could be anything. Okay, but I feel like, yeah, with the Three of Cups, a lot of partying or a lot of drinking. It's just a lot of drinking here. Five of Wands cards. So with the cards that were showing up at the bottom of the deck in the reading, I just feel like there's an energy of somebody that's just very fucking annoying. Okay, now I'm an empath. I also have a lot of other gifts, so I could pick up on people's energy. So some, sometimes when you hear me cry in my videos, it's because I feel somebody's pain or I get angry. It's because I feel someone's anger or frustration. It doesn't always have to be about me. All the readings ain't about me. Okay. I've, I don't even date a Taurus. I haven't dated a Taurus. So this isn't about me or, or, or Sagittarius. Every time I make a, a goddamn um, video, it ain't always about me. You bitches make it about me. So what I'm saying here is this is the, when I pick up this frustration, this is how someone's feeling, obviously, with the five of wands. OK, somebody's irritated. I, I can hear people's thoughts as well. Somebody here feels like somebody is just petty as fuck. Somebody on, when somebody moves forward and they're happy in their life or they're comfortable, somebody wants to come in and disrupt that. They want to come in and try to fuck that up. But when they when they have the opportunity to be around a person, they're disrespectful, they're a liar, they're a con. They all, Somebody only wants to deal with someone when they see them happy elsewhere. But when they have the opportunity to be in their life, even as a friend, it could be a baby daddy because I saw the emperor. It could be a baby mama, even as just co-parenting or whatever. They try to do slick, evil shit to, to, to a person. But when this person puts up barriers or block them out because they keep doing the same shit over and over now somebody wants to come in and they they, they want to watch or be evil or try to compete for them or try to do this and that this could be somebody with a, a placement in scorpio very possess possessive and controlling scorpios are very vindictive as well they hold on to grudges somebody here it's just they, they just don't want to lose so I feel like somebody here, and I feel like someone's very, very much attracted to you, Taurus, or this is you. They really, really want to sleep with you. They want to have the chance to be able to sleep with you or whatever. But this is somebody evil. You need to stay the fuck away from them. I'm, I'm just picking up on their energy, and somebody ain't right. This is you, Taurus, or this is this other person. You know which side of this shit you're on, and you know who I'm talking to. Just period, point blank. This is only, this is somebody, yeah, this is somebody who's in love with you only when you are disgusted by them. When you don't want them in their life, when you see that they're a clown or when you don't, or, or when you put barriers up or you don't want to fuck with them. Now, all of a sudden they're in love. They have to compete. They have to rush in. They need to say something or I need to be with you. But when you're right there, they're a liar. They're a con. They're trying to find ways to break you. Five of Wands is jealousy. They're jealous of you. They're trying to compete with you and do all types of shit. So just be very careful of this person, Taurus. Okay, what's the messages here for Taurus, the bull? It's January, or they need to be careful of your ass. January 12 and 13, 2022 for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What is this energy that is here for Taurus? I just feel like somebody's very annoyed, and I feel like you have every reason to be annoyed. Somebody plays fucking games. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. Okay, and, and once again, I, let, I didn't mention this. Um, Like I said, I was doing your video and it cut off. But the Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the Three of Wands showed up. And and I think the Three of Swords. And so this is definitely a third-party situation. This is somebody that likes to try to put you in competitive positions and have you in third parties because they like to try to hurt you. But when they see it don't hurt you, you just don't want nothing to do with them. You don't want nothing to, cause, because you know that they're competing and they're jealous of you and they try to purposely do shit to break you. So when you cut them off and you don't want nothing to do with them, now all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, somebody wants to rush in, especially if they hear or they feel like you've moved on or you're happy. They just want to come in and try to disrupt shit. Stay away from this person or somebody need to stay the fuck away from you. 
Yeah, look at this. All of this sexual attraction, palace of wands, ace of wands and shit. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, somebody knows that you're, somebody just is very possessive and controlling. Somebody's watching you. Page of Swords, they're stalking you. And they know that you're in a relationship, that you're happy, it's balanced. You're very attracted to this person. This person's very attracted to you. And all somebody wants to do is come in and disrupt and fuck that up. They don't want to really deal with you. They just want to try to fuck up what you have going on. Because they're miserable, obviously. What's the message here for Taurus? Or you are. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. January 12 and 13 for Taurus. Yeah, we have the emperor. There that emperor is. Could be an Aries or a baby daddy or a boss or whoever. Yeah, because with the three of pentacles, this could be a boss. Somebody could also be trying to compete or jealous. There could be a boss trying to put their employees against each other to compete for maybe a certain position or something like that. Just This is just like some real, real weird shit going on. But anyways, if that's not the case, I'm definitely getting something that's online. Somebody celebrated. I feel like somebody celebrated or they seem to get what they want or they're, they're in a boss position. They're holding this position and somebody's trying to compete with someone. Someone's jealous because somebody is liked. People love them. They, they're funny or they seem to have fun or people are attracted to them yeah the knight of cups seven of pentacles two of cups tempers yeah so you seem to be spending a lot of time with this new person or you seem to be in a relationship with this new person now somebody wants to apologize and offer a cup they don't mean you well at all Taurus or your ass don't mean somebody well the emperor could be the empress so this could be a baby daddy that's doing this or a baby mama but somebody here is trying to really Act like somebody don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, the Palace of Pentacles in the in the the goddamn hermit could be a Virgo or an Aries that's here. For others of you, I feel like somebody wants to step up their game. They're doing a lot of thinking here. They want to fight for you. They want to be with you, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to have you here. Somebody's planning out something. They're planning on how to come towards you, how to prove something to you, how to work something out, how to start over, how to reconcile with you. But I definitely get this as a third party with these two threes and five of wands. Somebody enjoys putting, trying to put you in competitive positions and trying to put you in third parties because someone's a narc with the emperor. The emperor could be negatively aspected. That could be somebody that's very much narcissistic, very controlling, somebody that don't take care of their business, somebody that don't take care of their kids, an absent father or an absent mother. This, this could be a lot. Yeah, the king, that, that was too many. I just feel like somebody somebody only wants to come in because they see you happy with somebody else. Yeah, the sun card. Somebody fine as hell, too. Leo energy. You're happy. You're dealing with somebody that is sexy. And somebody just sitting back, stalking and watching, trying to figure out ways to come in and create havoc. Yeah, the will of fortune. Something has changed. It has moved forward. It has shifted. Yeah, the ace of swords. That's the truth. The strength of card. Yeah. Be very careful of this of someone from your past trying to come in and disrupt your shit. Yeah, the Ace of Wands and the King of Swords. I'm getting that you're in a new relationship. You have a big ass wand to play with too, baby. Shit. And this person fine as shit with the Leo card here, the Sun card. Look at them. Look at their body. Look at their arms. They just fine. And you, I'm getting a lot of sex with this person too. Good sex. This person wants to provide for you. Someone's very intelligent. They're very much boss. Very, very much boss-like. Now somebody wants to compete and come in because now they want to try to step up like they're the emperor. But really, they're pathetic as fuck. Yeah, the moon card. Somebody is secretive here. Or you could be very secretive about a relationship that you're in. You're keeping it a secret. You should. The judgment, the eight of wands, and the magician. Because someone's trying to spend, send bad juju or energy towards you anyway. Somebody's hating and, and, and all types of shit. Yeah, the Eight of Swords in reverse. So this is somebody that you have a lot of fun with, you, you don't feel stuck with, or you don't feel like you got to be in your head about. Somebody makes something clear with the King of Swords, how they feel about you, what they want for you, from you, or for you, or whatever. Somebody is, or this is what's coming in. 
But this is somebody that's not going to play games. It ain't talking, it ain't trying to put you in third party. Somebody that you can really, you really enjoy. Somebody that likes to see you smile, likes to see you happy. The Palace of Pentacles, this could be somebody that likes to gift you things. They like to, to see you happy. You had a three of swords and a palace of swords in the tower. And there's a sad ass ex, a Scorpio or, or a Taurus or a Capricorn. Some motherfucking wear sad watching you and stalking you. Because because they can no longer create havoc and be jealous and envious and hateful in your fucking life. You put up barriers. You don't deal with this person. You've got your back turned. Three of wands. You have your back turned. You're looking towards your future. Yeah, the temperance. You're, you're at peace. Sagittarius energy here. Leo energy here. And Virgo and Aries. So it could be either one of those. Yeah, and the magician could be. A, a definitely could be an Aries. Or I'm hearing Gemini. But I definitely get an energy of somebody from the past wanting to reconcile and come back in here. They, this is someone you could have children with. If not, it's just someone you're familiar with. Okay, a baby daddy, a baby mama. They want to come in now, rush you in because you're, you're enjoying your life. You're doing well. You have money around you. You're doing well in your career. You're happy. You're holding a position. You're celebrated. You're frequented. You're online. You're, you're, you're very balanced or whatever. And somebody just, you're not stuck. Eight of swords in the reverse. You're not stuck. You're happy. You're doing your thing. Somebody, now somebody wants to watch and reconcile. I'm getting, stay the fuck away. Because I'm picking up on your energy, Taurus, or somebody else's, and you're a fucking clown, or somebody else's. You're a fucking loser, too. The only reason why you want to come in towards this person is try to disrupt their happiness. Like, somebody has always tried to do this. This Ever since you've known this person, this baby daddy or whoever, all they ever wanted to do was try to break somebody. Try to weigh, weigh them down. Try to make them feel some kind of way. They don't have no love for you at all. It's all about trying to control you, break you, or see you unhappy because they're miserable. Stay the fuck away from this person, man. They don't have good intentions here, Taurus. They do not. Or this is you. Yeah, the, the magician. Could try to do spell work on your ass and shit like that. Yeah, six of cups. This is somebody you have children with. Someone from your past. Someone you're familiar with. That, that can't seem to move on about their raggedy fucking life. What's the magician? Definitely could be an Aries. Or somebody that carries that energy. What is the um what is the uh magician? Yeah, the seven of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody you don't want to invest time in. Because seven of pentacles upright is putting in work and time and effort. I'm getting you're no longer doing that. You no longer want to do that. You want to move forward or they or whatever. Or they wasn't willing to do that. This is somebody who did not want to invest the time, the energy, or anything into your ass. Now that you moved on and you're happy. Or maybe you didn't want to with them either. But now that you are happy or you're doing something else. Now all of a sudden somebody's watching and trying to figure out ways how to start over or come towards you. What's the seven of pentacles in the reverse? Somebody could have also um, lost lost their money or lost some money here. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. I just feel like somebody, I feel like somebody here, uh, they, they didn't put in the work or the effort in the past and now they want to. Now they want to be a family or now they want to work on it. Or they want to have a home or be in a relationship with you. And I'm getting you're not, I'm getting you're happy with someone else. You're in a, a new relationship with somebody else that you're happy with. Sun card and Ten of Cups. That's the two happiest cards in the day. You're not only happy, but you're emotionally fulfilled, financially fulfilled with this person. You're just good. Good. If things are balanced, you don't feel stuck or you don't have to fill in your head with this person. There's a lot of sex. Ace of Wands, someone's very well endowed. You're just happy. And all somebody wants to do is come in and disrupt that. They don't have a good intentions for you. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Because you walked away completely, forever, completely. You don't have... You don't want anything to do with this person. You don't want to invest time, energy, or anything. Somebody didn't want to do that in you either. They wanted to walk away. They thought something else was better or the grass was greener on the other side. Or they didn't give a fuck about you. This doesn't even have to be a relationship. This could just be co-parenting. Somebody didn't give a fuck about their child or about providing for them or anything. This is somebody who, who just didn't give a fuck or just doesn't give a fuck. Now, you know, they walked away from you. They didn't invest in you. They went and did that with, with someone else. 
or you pulled away and decided to do that with someone else because somebody just, yeah, now they're in the five of pentacles. They're feeling out in the cold. They're broken. They don't have no money. They lost all their money or all their investments or whatever this is. And they see you doing well for yourself. So now they want to come towards you. Yeah, the lovers, they see that you're in love, that you're happy, that you're at peace. The temperance and the lovers, this is a beautiful connection, a very divine one, a twin flame. And you're happy and you want to be there and you're walking away from this and you're not investing any more time in this. And now somebody wants to come in and they want to reconcile it. They want to make it right. But it's only because they they're broke. They're out of the cold or they don't want to be broke or whatever this is. Yeah, the Queen of Wands, the Star, the Strength card. Yeah, you could be in the public eye. You could be very, very much attractive. All right? You're, you're, yeah, somebody can't resist you. They're rushing in. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords. So the tables have turned. Now you get to have what you want. Now you get what you deserve, Taurus. After somebody want to try to play you to the left like you something like, like, like trash or some shit, and now motherfuckers see you happy, you ain't stutting them at all, or you, or you have no intentions of ever allowing this person back into your life, now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden somebody, you know, they, they want to rush in or they want to do this or they want to do that. Somebody is all you're going to do is argue and fight with this person five of wands that's all it ever was it's lies and arguments arguments and fights and third parties and somebody purposely does shit that's what i'm hearing somebody purposely tried to break you and make you feel some kind of way but that didn't work it didn't work at all yeah we got the ten of pentacles the queen of swords and the three of swords so a double libra could be significant here so this is, yeah, this is, this is a, a Libra and the 10 of Pentacles. So I'm getting somebody here is very well off. Somebody's doing very well for themselves. Somebody else's ass is out in the cold. Okay. Yeah. And the Palace of Swords. So in the Tower, I feel like in the Four of Swords. So this could definitely be a Libra, but somebody's speaking the truth. Somebody's words are cutting. A Libra's words can be very fucking cutting and very hurtful. And I feel like somebody's laying down the law. They're laying down the truth. Somebody here is upset. There's an ex here that's sad over in Li over a Libra or a Libra is sad over your ass. You know what side of this you're on. Or if it's not a Libra, it's a Virgo or an Aries or a goddamn uh, Leo or a Sagittarius. But we have the king to the queen of swords. Yeah, like minds. You're, you're with your divine counterpart. With the lovers here, you're with your divine counterpart or you're about to be. If some of you, you are, some of you, you're not. And there's somebody you walked away from, three of swords, eight of cups, it's a wrap. That you no longer invest time in or anything. That really wasted your time, really was, was taking your money, keeping you in poverty, or somebody that was blocking your fucking blessings. Somebody jealous and envious and hateful, you no longer want this person. Now somebody wants to call you bitter and mad and shit, but this is somebody who tried to do everything in their power to destroy you. Somebody that could have been even very abusive as well. They try to do everything in their power to destroy you. But and, and this is somebody that will lie. They will make it seem like you're the one that's mad and angry and bitter, but it's really them. You moved on. You're successful. You have money around you. You're happy. You're in a happier relationship. Whether you're keeping it a secret or not, somebody knows about something. You're doing your balance. You're doing well. You're blessed. You ain't got nothing. The nine of cups came out first. You're very happy. Nine of cups is getting, that's like a genie in a bottle. That's your wishes coming true. Getting what you want. You're happy. Somebody else is bitter as fuck. And mad and angry because you've put up boundaries and you have no intention whatsoever of going backwards or fucking with this person at all. You, you people need to learn to stop going backwards. What's in the past? What's in the what's what's back there? Nothing is back there but the past. The same shit that you walked away from in the first place. So why the fuck would you, a smart person, keep going back? You only gotta be slow to keep doing that. Because you're going to go back to the same shit. Ain't nothing going to change. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. You're very attractive. I feel like somebody also went and they tried to choose somebody else over you, Taurus. Or they thought the grass was green on the other side. And it was not at all. At all. Yeah, the star. You're in the public eye. You're the star. I feel like somebody wishes they would have chose your ass, Two of Wands. 
they would have started a family with your ass with the tree of life and justice is here. Libra. It could be a Libra. So it's karma. Somebody's receiving karma. They wanted to do hateful shit. They spread rumors about you. Lies. They motherfucking, um, try to do shit to break you in every way. Very jealous of you and all of this shit. And you moved on, you put up barriers, you're doing great, you're very intelligent, you're with your divine counterpart, you're a star, you're very beautiful, a beautiful body, you could be a model, if you're not a model, you look like one. And you're building for yourself, I'm also getting, you're going to start a family with this new person that you with, and this is your justice. Because if you're dealing with a Libra, they always get justice, a double Libra is here, yeah, a double Libra, one, two, yeah, or a, somebody with Libra in three placements. But it doesn't matter. There's somebody that's sad and broken down and mad. Now somebody wishes they had a family with you. But Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, I'm getting you're going to get that anyways. You seem to be happy. You have money. Your home is beautiful. You're in a happy relationship. You're a star. star I'm getting karmic fame as well. Somebody's meant to be a star and in the public eye and somebody else's ass is out bad. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. They've lost their investments. They've lost their money. They're out in the cold. Somebody's sick here as well. Somebody just ain't doing well. And they're watching you live your life and, and they're mad. Yeah, Seven of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Somebody's bitter, mad, angry, and hateful as fuck. Look how that Five of Swords is looking. Because you blocked them and you don't want shit to do with them towards or they don't want shit to do with your ass. This Libra or whoever this is. Now somebody, but really somebody the whole time was in love with your ass, but they, but they, but they get enjoyment out of trying to break you. Not the fact that they realize they can't break you ever. And they never could. Now they ass is sitting over here looking stupid as fuck. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to end it right here on the seven of wands because I feel like that's an omen. You need to keep this person blocked out of your life towards, or they're going to, they need to keep your ass out. This person don't have good intentions with you. They're about competing with you. Somebody's a narc. They're controlling and they're possessive. What's the emperor? Give me one for the emperor. We're going to lay the seven of wands. You see why you need to? Because they're hateful. They're nasty. They're envious and they're jealous. This is somebody who has spread rumors about you, talk shit about you, try to uh, distort um, other people's view of you. This is somebody who has done everything in their power to try to corrupt you out of jealousy and hate. This is not somebody you need to be dealing with. And look what's behind that, the world. And look what's behind that, the seven of swords. And look what's behind that, the devil. Okay, I'm not making this up. This person is the devil. And they thought they had you stuck. Eight of swords in the reverse, you're not. In the upright, maybe, or they would have tried, but absolutely not. OK, I feel like you need to keep this hateful ass person blocked. Somebody's mad watching you, Page of Swords, stalking you with hate, sending you the evil eye. When they watch you, this is how their face is turned up. This is how they're watching you from whatever distance or whatever. This is how they think of you. They, they want to slay you. They want to figure out a way to break you because that's what's in this person's miserable ass fucking heart. Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Somebody's low vibe and they're they're a fucking broke down, broke bitch ass nigga. Or this is you. And I really feel like, I don't know, somebody could have a high placement in Scorpio. So it could be a Scorpio or somebody like, like a Scorpio sun and a Taurus um, moon or Taurus rising, whatever this is. But somebody is a liar, a con, a cheat, a thief, and they're the devil. Yeah, but the emperor and the, they're very possessive and very controlling. Somebody knows they can't control you. And they never will be able to. Yeah, chariot, cancer energy. Keep moving forward from this fucking narc. It is a, it's either a Libran, a Capricorn, a fucking Aries, a motherfucking Aquarius, a, a Leo, a Sagittarius. I'm hearing Cancerian or Scorpio. Could be a Virgo as well. You keep, yeah, Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Pat Palace of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, yeah, Six of Swords, Eight of Wands. I'm also getting King of Cups, and you get it. You're going on a trip with this person, or you're gonna be very happy with this new person. Let this, this, let this raggedy motherfucker soak in they dirty ass shit, with they dirty ass, cause that's what they are, a dirty motherfucker. That's evil. Stay away from them and keep your barriers up. Keep this person blocked. They mean nothing good. Fives are the lowest in the deck. Five, five, five. They mean nothing good for you. They never have and they never will. So those are your messages, Taurus. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and follow your girl on Instagram at empressgoddess underscore 35. Goodbye.